hi guys welcome to my youtube channel thank you for always watching my videos if this is your first time on the channel welcome my name is jeff i'm from uganda in africa and today i have a brief trip to guru and i'm just here to say goodbye to my dad and then go and we see what lies ahead so if this is your first time on the channel please 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 subscribe to this channel after saying goodbye to everyone, I bought it motorcycle to take me to the bus park. Let's see if this bus is leaving right now. They told me this bus is not going anywhere, so I decided to use this taxi instead. Zaka. So guys, I didn't get the bus as I expected, but I got some taxi, that's what we are going to use. After we are going to arrive in the afternoon, something. This is how transport system in Uganda works and is the same in most African countries. As within the town, we always get around with border borders. Border borders are these motorcycle riders that carries you from one place to another. Usually it costs between $1 to $3 for most destinations within town. And then to go from one district to another or one town to another, you have to use either a bus or a taxi. Taxis are these small cars but buses are the big buses, you all know buses of course, so you can use a bus or a taxi to go from one town to another, which is pretty common. While traveling, it's very common to come across police officers by the roadside who stop the car to inspect and sometimes ask for some bribe. After driving 15 minutes away from town, we came across these police officers who stop our driver I wonder what they want this time. Our driver stopped. Is that guy wearing white shirt? What these people in the bus are saying is that these police officers can just create problem out of thin air and demand some money uh, until when you give some money and then they will let you go. I can see he's negotiating with them. Whatever the case, I hope that he resolve the issue and come and we go. Finally, they're having a handshake and I think he must have resolved the issue already. I think he should be coming soon. Let's see. Let's see what will happen. Yeah, he's coming. Yeah, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Very good. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, man. Let's go. problem with traveling with taxi is that they keep on stopping on the way every now and then to pick up travelers. You cannot know the exact time you are arriving because each time they stop you don't know how long they are going to stay in that place. There are some people by the roadside just ahead of us and this guy is slowing down looks like he wants to stop to try to pick them up or oh, he stopped but they are not going anywhere so we are continuing
she is stopping here she has reached home about three hours we are now in gulu city this is gulu city in northern uganda it looks beautiful we have arrived and we are driving to the bus park where we are going to get off the taxi and each of us go to our destinations on the left there is gulu main market with those statues of elephants at the entrance that is the main market Hi guys, I just arrived in Kulu. I will be meeting a friend in a few minutes. I've just reached Kulu and I decided to meet a friend of mine. Hi. <laughs> yes, hello everybody. Yeah, my name is called uh, Apostle Chris uh, from Kulu. Yeah, that is my name. Yeah. That's so my name. check out Apostle Chris UG. Yeah, and uh, the link will be in the description. He has a YouTube channel. Oh yeah, he's a pastor and he's, he's a friend of mine. Mm. But this video is already long. I'm going to cut it, and just see you in the next video. Oh yes.